Just two days after the U.S. completed its frantic withdrawal from Afghanistan, after 20 years of war, the Taliban is continuing to celebrate its swift victory. Thanks to the U.S. withdrawal, the Taliban now has some of the best military hardware in the world, an arsenal the Islamic regime was more than happy to show off earlier today. The Taliban paraded some of their seized military hardware through Kandahar, the spiritual birthplace of the regime, traveling through the streets on camouflaged Humvees and armored vehicles. Above the parade, helicopters flying the Taliban flag hovered overhead. Fighters who helped the Taliban surge to victory in August covered their faces with white headscarves as they sat atop the vehicles and looked on at their crowd of supporters. At least one Black Hawk helicopter has been seen flying over Kandahar in recent days, suggesting someone from the former Afghan army was at the controls as the Taliban lacked pilots. Footage uploaded by the Talib Times, a page claiming to be the official news source for the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, showed a soldier dangling from a rope below the Black Hawk. Our Air Force. At this time, the Islamic Emirates Air Force helicopters are flying over Kandahar city and patrolling the city, the tweet read. It's reported the militants have made off with up to $25 billion worth of abandoned weapons and vehicles, including 200,000 firearms and 20,000 Humvees seized from the Afghan army. Word had spread that the Taliban's secretive supreme leader Hibatullah Akhandzada would appear, but he did not show, leaving the city's new governor to address the crowd. The scenes of Taliban triumph came hours after U.S. President Joe Biden gave a defiant speech defending the decision to end America's longest war and the frenzied evacuation effort that ensued as the Afghan government collapsed. The president, who has been savaged by critics over the withdrawal, which saw the U.S. and its allies evacuate more than 122,000 people in just over two weeks, hailed the operation as an extraordinary success. This is the right decision. A wise decision. And the best decision for America, Mr. Biden said in an address to the nation in Washington, D.C., after he stuck to an August 31 deadline to end the two decades-long conflict that began and ended with the hardline Islamists in power. For America, Mr. Biden argued, the only choice in Afghanistan was leaving or escalating. Many Afghans are terrified of a repeat of the Taliban's initial 1996-2001 rule, which was infamous for its treatment of women, as well as a brutal justice system. The group has repeatedly promised a more tolerant brand of governance this time around. The U.S.-led airlift began after the Taliban completed an astonishing rout of government forces and took over Kabul on August 15. The Taliban now faces a challenging future as it works to transition from insurgent group to governing power.